Hello, my name is Ravel Gaither and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today on my channel, I'm gonna be bringing you guys along on a process of me making these really dope new circular bags. And I love the way these bags came out. I love the design on them. I did a total of three, all different shades of denim. So the first one that I did is this really cool medium blue. I love this shade of denim. The freaking detailing on this is insane. When I tell you these bags were really difficult, really due to just this detailing right here. So the front has this really cool swirly detailing. It is a medium blue denim, yellow contrast stitching, antique brass hardware. And they do have adjustable straps that you can take off or leave on. Right now I have them off. And then this is the back. The back is plain. I did not do the same detailing for the back that I did on the front because if I would have had to create this twice for a back piece, these bags would not have got, gotten done. I almost gave up on these bags halfway through due to the difficulty of the front detail. It was just, it was just too much. So the next one that I did too was this really nice light blue one. I love this one as well. So this one is a light blue denim, um, navy blue contrast stitching, and then matte silver hardware detailing amazing and then this is the back again it's plain on the back and then this one which is one of everyone's favorites the dark blue denim i love how the freaking yellow pops on this it looks amazing so same thing um swirly detailing on the front yellow contrast stitching and this one has gold brass hardware so it's really nice i love them so i am calling these bags swirls for the girls because you know you know growing up you used to hear like curls for the girls so these are swirls for the girls because you know, it's a swirly design and it's for the girls. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, move on. So if you do wanna stick around and watch me make these bags, please watch to the end. Make sure you give this video a like and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think and let's get into the video. All right, so I'm currently still in pre-production. It's, um, I've been cutting out these bags and getting them together for about two days. It's a lot of pieces because again, I have to, not again, but Kind of like the last project, I have to create the front and back exterior through pieces. So these are all the pieces for the front and back exterior. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew them up, which is the only reason why I'm filming during pre-production. And ciao, I've been in pre-production for 12 hours, 28 minutes and 11 seconds. Like, and it's probably gonna be another three hours for me to sew these together. So this is a long pre-production, but the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew these up, the front and back exteriors together for all of the bags, and I'm gonna show me doing that, and then I have to go and interface them and finish that up, and then I'll check back in once that's done. So the first thing I'm doing for this project is sewing together the front and back exteriors. Kind of like the same one has that, kind of like the last uh, project I did, you know, where I had to piece the pieces together because they were separate and sew them together, so that's the same kind of concept. I normally never show my test pieces on here but I normally test pieces not to make an exact replica of what it's gonna be really just to test my pattern and make sure the measurements are right so I don't know if you can see but this is kind of the detail that I'm going with like this nice swirly look I don't know if it's showing up good on camera but um it has like the swirly look and it's gonna have the road handles on the front it's gonna be a really dope design so I just kind of test it out to make sure my pattern works because I make all of my patterns and I have to I like to test and to make sure the measurement's correct because sometimes I have to go back in and adjust the measurement. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew up these front and back exteriors and that's what you're gonna see, so let's do that. All right, so it is the next day. I have, literally these bags have been kicking my Okay, like when I tell you, 
from just so many things have been going on since I was filming and I haven't been showing it behind the scenes, but I had to pretty much um, cut out new pieces. I had to restart the front pieces three times. I burnt my hand on the freaking heat press. I had to re-embroider a name tag because I used the wrong color denim. It was just, it's just so much that was going on. I've been working all day since 9 a.m. It is currently 521. I've been working, sewing, seam ripping, and I haven't even really done anything. So with all that being said, uh, let me put this ice down because my freaking hand got burnt on a heat press. I did put together the front exteriors of the bags. I am a little nervous because they aren't perfect circles because it was really hard piecing these together. So I hope when I'm sewing them together, the shape doesn't look really distorted because I remember when I made my last circular bag for Doja Cat, the people ate me up in the comments talking about that's not a circle, that's not a circle, ew, 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 which I know it wasn't perfect. Circle bags are really not my strongest thing. This is my only second time doing a circle bag. This is the medium blue one. And I actually had to, on the backs, I'm doing plain backs now. I was going to do the same curvy design on the back of the bags, but for some reason, the pattern pieces for the back, it, they weren't sewing together correctly. So I was like, you know what? I've been working at these front pieces. They're kicking my butt. I'm not gonna keep doing that. So I'm just doing plain backs. So yeah, I'm doing plain backs on all of them instead of the curvy design, which really I'm not that happy about, but I'm not going to stress myself out anymore, add more time to this, because that's also gonna drive up the cost of these bags. So I'm just gonna put less stress on myself, do a simple plain back. It's not that big of a deal. So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna top stitch these um, panels. And I'm gonna do two lines of top stitching. I normally stick with one, but I think two would be super dope so i'm gonna do two lines and then i'm gonna sew the name tags on and all of that good stuff so that's what i'm gonna go ahead and do um and it's the second day i'm actually this i'm actually going to start production now i was in pre-production let me ciao this is how long i've been in pre-production i ain't never been in pre-production for 18 hours i don't understand like these bags are taking forever i really hope sewing them together isn't too long um so i'm gonna go ahead top stitch these so the name tags on and that's what i'm gonna start doing so let's start sewing Finally. All right, so I finished top stitching the front panels and stitching the name plates on, and I actually really love this detailing. It's super dope. I love the double lines of stitching. I know there's a name for it. I just can't think of it right now. Super dope. So this is the medium blue one. This is the dark blue. I love the yellow pop on this one. It looks amazing. And then this is the light blue one right here. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to grab them. I'm going to start on the rolled handles, which I haven't done rolled handles in such a long time. I don't, the last time I did rolled handles, honestly, a project isn't coming to mind. It's been a while since I've done them. So these are the handles right here, the pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and sew these up and then fold them over and do everything to create the rolled handle look. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And then after I do that, I'm gonna put the rivets on and then I have to do the zipper gusset as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and start sewing and putting that stuff together. And that's what you're gonna see.
All right, so it is the next day and I have put the handles on the front exteriors of the bags. And I'm sorry if you hear yelling in the background. I have people over my house and they're watching a basketball game and they're just yelling at the TV. But this is how the front of the medium blue is looking. I also decided to do a double rivet um, on the front because I've really been feeling double rivets. I liked, I don't like the one rivet. It just leaves too much space around. So I like doing two. So this is the medium blue. This is the light blue. And then this is the dark blue. And I'm really loving all of these. And then these are the backs of them. Um, all of the backs are done too. So I'm really nervous about these bags, if I'm being honest, just due to the fact that the front are, um, exteriors of the bags are not 100% complete perfect circles. So I really hope it does not distort the shape of the bag once it's sewn together. And I really hope it doesn't throw off the seam allowances. Um, for the gusset because I think the exteriors are just a tad bit smaller than the backs. The backs are perfect because I didn't have to sew it together to complete a circle. I just cut it out. So the backs are perfect. It's the fronts that I'm worried about. So we're going to see how this turns out. I'm really nervous. Um, honestly, I don't even know if these are going to come out right. I, I could be working for all of this time and wasting all of my time. So um, now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to start on the zipper gusset. So for the medium blue, I'm doing a brown zipper with the antique brass coil. And then for the light blue, I'm doing a navy blue zipper with a silver coil. And then for the dark blue, I'm doing a yellow, which is super dope. I, I'm going to love all of the colors for these. They're going to pop really nicely against the denims and shades. So I'm going to do that. And I'm also probably going to sew up the strap connectors for that. I might also put the straps together. I don't know about that yet. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sew up these zipper gussets or zipper panels and do all that stuff. And let's get into that. Okay, so I just finished up all of these zipper gussets and they look really good. I'm loving this pop of yellow on this dark blue with the gold hardware. It just looks amazing. So we got the strap connectors on, double rivets, the um, zipper gusset in there, super dope. That's the dark blue one. This is the medium blue. I love this brown. It matches beautifully with the antique brass hardware. And then we have the light blue one as well. So all of the zipper gussets are done. I also went ahead and kind of I, the straps are pretty much done i just have to add the rivets on um last night is also the next day i didn't say that yet but last night i went ahead and pretty much prepped all the straps are done i just really have to oh wait i already wait oh i just have to put the rivets there and then on this end as well i also tried doing the straps a different way um, because i noticed that i don't i added this piece right here 
um, I don't know how to explain this, but I hate when I use when I do adjustable straps and this little folded um, fold over piece is on the end. It just makes the strap look weird and like, let me see, I have a bag right here, um, kind of, this is what I'm talking about. I hate when it has it like this and like you can see, it, it just looks kind of odd when you're wearing it. So I decided to do um, this little add-on piece. So it's pretty much straight all the way around, but then a little bit up, it has the loop. So it's not directly towards the bottom of the strap, if that makes sense. I hope that's making sense, I don't know. Um, but I just didn't like the way it looks. So the straps are pretty, are done. I just had to add the rivets. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna start on the lining. I have to do the zipper pockets, slip pockets, add my logo tags and all that stuff. And then I can pretty much start sewing the bags together, which again, I am very nervous for that. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead, start on the linings, getting that done and let's start on that. All right, so it's the next day. I sewed up the front and back exteriors to the gussets. It honestly wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be bad because the shapes were a little bit off, but honestly, it wasn't that bad. So, so far, this is what we got. This is the light blue one. This is, they're inside out right now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the bias binding. So this is a slip pocket, zipper pocket, and then we have the medium blue one with the brown interior, zipper pocket, all that good stuff. And then we have the um, dark blue one. So all of this stuff. So now what I have to do is I already have all the little bias binding pieces cut out. So pretty much I'm just gonna take the bias binding and wrap it all the way around the raw edges to seal those raw edges off. And then I have to turn the bags right side out and finish up the straps and these are done. When I tell you I've been working on these bags from literally beginning to end, for a week now. It don't make no sense, a whole week. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew on these bias binding pieces and then get that done and then turn these right side out. I feel like these are probably gonna be a little difficult to turn right side out, especially once I do the bias binding because these are super freaking, it's gonna be super stiff. So wish me luck, honestly, I'm just over, I wanna be, I almost gave up on these bags. I really almost gave up on these bags and I'm so, I'm glad that I stuck through with it and it's like, you know what, just push it, just keep pushing, just keep doing. But man, these bags really are putting me through the ringer. Like, it's a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew these um, bias binding pieces on and then I'll check back in. So I just finished adding all the bias binding to the raw edges of the interiors of the bags. And oh my goodness, this literally hurt my fingers so bad. It it just hurt my fingers. It took me a while to get it done because it was hurting my fingers. I had to take breaks and stop and um, let my fingers take a rest, but they're all done. So now I have to turn these right side out and I'm kind of nervous. 
but I'm also so excited because I'm almost done. I literally cannot tell you how like difficult these bags have really been for me. I did not expect this project to be such a difficult one. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn these bags right side out. Super nervous. I'm gonna start with the more stiffer ones so that when I get to the last one, it's a little easier because this ounce of denim is a little bit lighter. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn these right side out and yeah. <laughs> All right, so it has been several days later. I think it's today makes it a full week since I last filmed and did any sewing, not any sewing, but worked, finished up the bags. So all of the bags are done, they are complete, they look amazing. And I also just yesterday went ahead and finished up all of the dust bags. So I'm gonna go ahead and show the finished product of the bags and just show them. I already posted them on Instagram and TikTok and everybody's loving them. Um, it's just, it's just, I feel like it's just a fun, new, refreshing design. It's unique and it's just, it's just eye capturing. They're really dope pieces. So this is the first one. It's the medium blue. I love this one. It has the yellow stitching. It looks amazing all the way around. And I don't have the um, adjustable straps on them. I took them off just because they're a hassle to hold around with the straps on. But um, they all do have the adjustable straps too. And then this is how the zipper looks. Um, oops. It has the brown zipper tape with the antique brass coil. And the interiors of these ones, it's stuffed currently, but you know, you see my logo, the zipper pocket, and then it has the slit pocket on this side. And all the insides of the bags are the waterproof canvas that I use. So they are waterproof on the inside. And I really love these, you know, I was really, during the process of making these, it, I really wanted to give up on them just because it was so hard and I didn't think that it was gonna turn out correct. And um, I really just, you know, pushed through and kept going because I was like, you, I don't, I already wasted my time interfacing everything. I already had all the materials cut out and was using them. So I was like, might as well try to finish it up. And they actually came out really good. So I'm glad that I did stick through. So this is the medium blue one. And then we have the dark blue one, which is, Everyone's favorite, I think I think it's just the way that the colors look on here. The yellow pops amazingly on this dark blue. Um, so this is how it looks all the way around. Really dope, really dope. And honestly, I would have done a yellow interior on this one, but I didn't have any yellow waterproof canvas left. I have to order more. Um, but this one has like a creamish interior. So it's a zipper pocket logo and then the slip pocket on this side. So, and then the zipper on this one, looks so good i love how the yellow pops on here and how it just matches with the stitching it just looks really good so the next one which is the light blue denim one so this one is a light blue denim it has the navy blue stitching navy blue zipper silver hardware love it and in the interior of this one is a navy blue as well to match with the stitching and zipper so we have also sorry i stuffed them i just don't feel like taking them out and trying to put it back in so there's a zipper pocket logo and then the slip pocket on this side. It's kind of hard to see this one because it's a darker interior. But these are all the bags done and finished. They look really dope. So again, like I said, I went ahead and finished up all of these duster bags yesterday and the quality on these ones is really good. And the reason why they're so good is I don't, um, it's normally the same muslin, but it's just like a premium quality because this is what they had when I went to the store and it just feels a little bit better. So again, I matched the hardware um, on the duster bags to whichever bag is gonna put in them. So this one is a silver, so this one's gonna go for the light blue one. This one is the antique brass. It has the antique brass, so that's gonna go with the medium blue. And then this one has the gold, it's kinda hard to see, but the gold regular brass. This is gonna be for the dark blue denim. So I try to match the hardware to whatever hardware I use on the bag, just to make it a little bit cohesive. So these are the dust bags, nothing too crazy. Same thing that I normally always do. So everything is done. I have all of my photos taken. I have everything imported on my website. Um, I have the pricing. So I am going to be selling each one of these bags for $435 shipping and dust bag is included in the cost. Amazing, you know, and the difficulty that I would rate this product, I mean, not product, project, I would give it an eight and a half out of 10. Like, 
maybe even a nine, quite frank. I would give it a nine out of 10. This was a really difficult project due to the detailing and having to sew the front together and just the overall shape of the bag and it's a circle. And if you sew, you know curves are not a fun thing to sew. So just a completely curved sewing, I mean, just a completely curved circular bag is not gonna be easy, especially with the detailing that I did. I don't know why I did this to myself, but I'm glad that I stuck through and did it because it came out amazing. I love it. So I give it definitely a nine out of 10. Um, would I do it again? We'll see about that. I don't think I will, um, but I probably will definitely use the same detailing and method to get that design and effect because I love how it looks. It came out, that came out really amazing. So I probably will do that. Maybe not for a circle, but I definitely will use that design again. So um, that's pretty much everything. Everything's done. Um, now what I have to do is finish up, you know, the last little minute details. Today is Wednesday, June 22nd. I'm going to be dropping these on Friday, June 24th. Um, I don't know how sales are gonna go. I don't know if anyone's gonna purchase, you know, I drop stuff and people are like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy, and then I drop it and no one buys and this stuff sits on my site for months. So um, I really don't know if anyone, if anyone is gonna purchase, but you know, we'll see how that goes. So this is really the end of the video. If you liked it, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think and make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you can be notified when I do upload all of my new videos and everything like that. I am going to probably start doing more tutorials. My last video was a tutorial on how I make my name tags. So if you want to learn how I do my branding for my bags and sell my name tags on, you can go watch my last video, uh, which shows you how I make that because I know a lot of people ask how I do that. And yeah, you know, just stay posted for any of the new things that I might post. Again, I'm filming pretty much every project that I'm working on just to have content to post and get back in the grind of YouTube. Um, and yeah, that's really it. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and I will see you guys in my next video or project, whatever that shall be. So this is.